Hey, hey, folks, here we are. We might be drunk. Special gotta... guest, uh, Miss Pat. Woo! <laughs> What's shaking? We were just saying, have we met? I met you years ago. I don't know if you remember it, but we met on Last Comic Standing. Oh, was you? Briefly. Was you uh, part of the last group? Was Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone early. Oh, was you? I think I made it one one episode. Yeah. How about you? You were on for a while. I made it till they picked a eight. That's pretty oh, good. That's yeah. good. That's good TV time. Oh, it's it sucked. It, <laughs> I got eliminated it's on my hell. birthday. What? <laughs> what? Damn, harsh. <laughs> it was Keenan, Roseanne, and um, Russell Peters, Norm. Oh, my, wow. Norm was really cool to me, but uh, Keenan, I think, buried me, and I was like, I'm done. I didn't think uh, Norm liked me. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, he's yeah. been known to be racist. <laughs> no, he I'm would kidding. say that after he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have never said that shit if he was alive. <laughs> no, we would try to get him on. Yeah. Although I think Roseanne was the one who took Ambien. That was oh, that's true. That's her... That was before Ambien. That was before. Yeah. Yeah. She was very nice to I, me. She was, I knew her before. Yeah. I love yeah. Roseanne. I do too. Yeah. She, I, we call it BA, before Ambien. <laughs> was she nice to you? Yeah, I did a show called The World Funniest Mom, and she was like the host of it. Oh, nice. Years ago. And so, um, and I opened for Ve- I opened in Vegas for once a couple of times. Mm-hmm. So nice. she was always nice. Yeah. yeah. And then she went Trump crazy, and she yeah. blocked me on Twitter. No way. She blocked you? Yeah, I was like, I thought we was friends, Roseanne. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she Damn. blocked me on Twitter. I feel like she's back on the scene now. I see her doing I, sets. Yeah, I see her out, you know. I, I see her. Pop up here and there. I bet if you saw her, she'd be cool with you face to face. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, people. So we all get a little crazy here and there yeah. sometimes. Here, here. We all go a little back. mad sometimes. Huh? We all go a little mad sometimes. Psycho. Yeah. Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that yeah. shit. <laughs> Scream also. It's what? Scream. Scream Skeet also. Ul- yeah. Skeet Ultra. Skeet Ultra. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Skeet Ulrich. He was a Who sexy. Is Skeet Ulrich? That guy from the '90s, that actor. Scream. Scream. I don't want to give it to gets. Yeah, he's in Good you As It Gets. The hate crime is as good as it gets. Yeah. Beats up Greg Kinnear. Yeah, that's him. Remember him? What he do? I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was just quoting him he in the movie. He literally says that. He goes, Anthony Perkins, psycho. Remember? Yeah, he quotes him. Yeah. He said we all get a little mad sometimes. Oh, Going okay. Going on what you said. Can we, what are we drinking tonight? Uh, We're doing, today? Uh, it's the uh, day for yeah. us. <laughs> We're doing Amaretto Sours. Oh, that's my, somebody must have told you that's what I drink. That's what you drink? Yeah, we asked, we asked Roseanne. That's, do you do a traditional one? Or? <laughs> well, damn, yeah. <laughs> what, what kind do you usually do? Just like sour mix and disarrota? Sour or? mix and disarrota. Are, are you open to a fresh one then? Yes. Okay. Look at you with the limes all lined up. What a pro. <laughs> what the hell y'all get this sexy-ass bartender I know, right? I've yeah. never seen a bartender on a podcast. <laughs> I, I grew up in Atlanta, just like you. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Norcross. Oh, you from where the money at? Yeah. <laughs> I was born in Northside Hospital, though. So. Oh, Northside Hospital. They don't even take Medicaid. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be insured to bring your ass over to Northside uh. and open up your vagina. They will push that baby back in your ass <laughs> and send you down to Grady Hospital. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're out born at no- I'm Northside Hospital. You'll never hear me say I was born at Grady Hospital. <laughs> at Grady, they drive Drop the kids and give them ID and tell them to get a job the day they come out the vagina. <laughs> I don't remember the hospital. I just remember my mom kept the pamphlet because my brother and I were on the front of it. Like it was like from, what? from the late eighties. They was on the pamphlet at yeah. the hospital. That's what you know. You're a cute. It's definitely kid. all white kids though, for sure. Mm. <laughs> oh, I know it's all white kids. Wow. You gotta tell me shit. Yeah, we're trying to There's move product here. It's a few black here. kids now. It's changed. It's changed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys are lucky. I was born in a, in a living room. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to say I was born in a holler. I thought he was going to say a trailer. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> hey, Pam. Hello, Pam. What happened? Your, your mama was loose and just let you go? <laughs> she was on the toilet. She forgot. No, she... Uh, An think, Elvis birth. Yeah. I uh. think she was just, uh, you know, procrastinating. She was procrastinating if you just fell out like that. Yeah. Who cut your cord? <laughs> I think my dad. Oh, yeah. well, you know, your, they, your, pra- your parents probably playing this shit. Maybe they're Cause, a little hippy dippy. Yeah, because, you know, white people believe in having their babies underwater and, you yeah. know, being born at the house and let the other kids slap it to make you cry. Black folks like, I'm going to the motherfucking hospital where they get your band-aids and I can steal the napkins. <laughs> we ain't going to be pushing all babies out anyway, anywhere. 
You know, yeah. probably what are you twenty? What thirty maybe? Thirty nine. I'm oh, old. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you getting up there? Yeah. So your mom probably was a hippie. They smoked a little weed. They wanted to be free. Exactly. They probably got your afterbirth in the freezer. Ah, yeah, the placenta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was fun, but no, I mean, no drugs. Who I, didn't do drugs? My mom, like no epidural. Oh, yeah. She went natty. Natty, which is mm. insane. Which is fucking crazy. Crazy. And when people say that, I think they're, I mean, Uh-oh. personally, I think they're stupid ah. because that shit hurt like yeah. nothing else. Yeah. But some women are able to take that pill. I was like, let me tell you something. Give me enough dope for me and the baby. <laughs> you hear me? I, I, both of us need to be high. Yeah. The baby <laughs> need to push itself out of me. <laughs> Give me, I'm, I want all the drugs. Yeah. No, Give me stitches you. I don't need. Yeah. You, how many kids do you have? Four. Oh, wow. Wow. What's a litter? That's a lot. Good for you. You ain't got no kids? No, no. I'm barren. Fuck you mean you barren? I'm uh, infertile. I shoot blanks. How you know? Unlike Alec Baldwin. <laughs> well, I can... I've just... Uh, <laughs> Was that an Alice Boss fucking joke? Somebody he's, gonna whoop your ass with these <laughs> undercover jokes you keep putting yeah. in. No, he's, he's catching strays, and I see him in my local coffee shop all the time. Baldwin? Yeah, and I, I'm nervous because I posted a lot of jokes about him. Did and you I'm get just an espresso shot. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I want to say hi, but I couldn't pull the trigger. I seen him one time uh, at a. I don't know what side of town I was on. He was at a um, like an Italian restaurant. I went with a uh, producer one time, and he was sitting next to me with a whole bunch of other celebrities. And I guess they wanted me. To, I felt like they wanted me to say, "Oh, Alex Bob." I was like, "I'm not speaking if you're not speaking." Right. Yeah, you don't want to start that. Yeah, I ain't want to run up on him and shit. The man was eating yeah. noodles and shit. I ain't want to fuck with him, but he was sitting right next to me. Wow. This, was before, this was before, you know, the sure. whole incident. Sure, sure. Yeah, he's catching, he catches a lot of strays on this podcast. <laughs> but you he shoots a lot of strays. Shot. You yeah. weren't nervous? <laughs> No, I wasn't. What, what do you mean? I ain't um, been shot on no movie set. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they, ain't nobody made the mistake and shot me. They was trying to shoot me. <laughs> right. Yeah, he was playing with a pistol. Yeah. That's how he got Poor shot? Guy. No, that's how no. he shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, the, the, he's, he's trouble. Is, is he going to jail? No. Uh, it's up in the air. I, don't I thought think it was so. a manslaughter or like involuntary manslaughter. I think like, it's a different news story every week about it. I don't think nothing going to happen to it. I, I think I it was an so. honest mistake. It was an accident. Yeah. At least that's what I hope. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a nice guy. He looks exhausted. You see, he's got like seven kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, I seen him again at the hotel uh, in Beverly Hills where they shot Pretty Woman at. Oh yeah, yeah. What's she got hotel? shot too. I'm kidding. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Hills I, Hotel. Uh, I yeah. saw him there coming out with his wife and a whole yeah. bunch of babies on a nanny. Oh, really? Uh, a whole yeah. bunch of toddlers and small kids and a uh, nanny. Well, his wife had so many kids that she speaks like a Hispanic person. Now. Here she is. I don't get it. Fake accent. She's like George what? Santos. Listen. She was born in Boston. Is that his wife? Yeah. yeah. Now she yeah, can do a fake I accent saw for you. Beverly Hills. She was born in Boston. She has a fake accent. Two That's white, strange. regular American yeah. parents. She puts on this fake Spanish accent because she lived in Madrid. Why? But no one knows. It's very odd. Is she undercover as Alex Baldwin's wife? Because <laughs> he, he, he in trouble? No, it's cultural appropriation. She's just pretending to be a... Uh, Hispanic? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no one knows why. She wants somebody to feel sorry for her? I think that might be oh, white women. Always <laughs> stealing the world. What you going to do next, bitch? Be the nanny? <laughs> <laughs> she's, di- she's done half a Dolezal, basically. There you go. She's gone like halfway. Vocal what, what Dolezal. Do you mean? Rachel Dolezal, remember her? Oh, yeah. The Rachel fooled black people because we really thought she was right. Ra- you black. Rachel really worked hard to get her scheme. Yep. To accept cocoa butter. Yeah, look. So, pull her up. Yeah. Who She's is doing that? OnlyFans now? Who I is know. She I'm really? a member. Yeah. Are you? I signed, you signed up? up. I like black women. <laughs> well, that ain't no fucking black. <laughs> no, that was, that was you gonna give it to the fake black woman? <laughs> <laughs> Porn is getting so specific though. Now it's like white women who act black. Yes, now you yes. get a category. <laughs> who don't want to be black? We're the coolest people in the fucking world. But you are when cool. You, when, when you go all the way and use all the Vaseline, and she tricked us, but yeah. we did not know that was a white one. Let me tell you something about Rachel. Do, do Please. The bitch ran the NAACP. Am I right? When you can be, when you can play to be black and get all the way to the NAACP. The NAACP. Yeah. yeah. 
You black. Yeah. She should get an Oscar. Well, That's she, impressive. <laughs> what she should have did was open up a John and say, I'm black. <laughs> 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 a pussy with a screen, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> In the words of Roseanne, I didn't know the bitch was black. <laughs> My friend loved that. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I got to tell you, I, the lady who he, she called, who she said that to, mm-hmm. I saw her at the Breakfast Club years ago. And I was like, that was a pretty damn good job. Joke, Roseanne. Yeah, it's kind of funny tweet. Yeah, pull, pull her up because she is kind of uh, ambiguous looking. Who? Ah, she's a politician. Look at him using the correct words. <laughs> I don't think she was a politician. Was she? Oh, I thought she I was. I think she was. Like a yeah. senator or uh, something. He's on it. We call him Google bitch. Here we go. I thought the bitch was white. Oh, I thought the bitch was black. Sorry, white. Valerie Garrett. Valerie. There you go. All right, let's check out Valerie. Valerie Jarrett. <laughs> we got to get Roseanne on here. I love that she says, I thought the bitch in the apology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Look, I she's kind the... of uh, all over the road here. Look at that. I mean, Meghan Markle's blacker. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, Meghan Markle is de- definitely blacker. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is a little ambiguous. Is that the all reason? Right, well, you, but you if you go back in time, road. she's... Look at that. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow, she's like a reverse Dolezal. She's yeah. getting whiter. <laughs> <laughs> she's going the other way. She's fucking black. <laughs> she's just light skinned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. They kind of look alike, really. They she's should do a podcast that she, together. They should do a podcast. <laughs> After she ruined her career, took her show off TV, I don't think so. Well, that was more Netflix, I'd say. But who knows? That was not Netflix. Oh, I thought it was a Netflix thing. Roseanne was ABC. It was ABC. She had the highest numbers. Oh, I thought it was sorry. I mean, she was getting like 20 million views. Yeah. She She was was like bringing back TV. Like cable? Like it was, you know. She was was killing that shit. Yeah. And it was good, too. Was it? Yeah, but what's crazy is they still on without her. I know it's kind of hard. They better not. I better not say the wrong thing, and they keep my shit on. <laughs> how, many, how many seasons are you in now? Don't take ambient. This is season three. Whoa! Season congratulations. That's really cool. Thank you. And you got an Emmy nomination. I got an Emmy nomination. Whoa! Yeah. First time for BET or BET Plus. That's the first time a BET show has gotten that. Yeah, ever. What? That's this huge. Oh, BET Plus. Yeah, that was pretty good. Wow. Yeah. We over there trying to make a little bit of noise. They be trying to ignore them. We be we be knocking on the door. Hey, motherfucker, we over here too. Yeah. How do you how do you find out you get an Emmy now? Who who tells you that? Well, it just comes out like on it comes out. You found out on like Twitter? No, no, not Twitter. It's a um, I my co producer uh, found out. It's some somewhere they let it go before the public knows, like mm-hmm. for writers and stuff through the writers guild. And is it how did they find out? The noms, the no, nominees. No, they did. Jordan knew it before it hit the internet. He was watching scoop. it as they was nominated, huh? They it. It's like an I don't know where the fuck he from. I thought he found it on some secret website. Yeah, all right. And he came in my trailer jumping up and down and said, we got nominated for Emmy. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? We on BET. That shit don't happen over here. Right. And he's like, no, we got nominated for an Emmy, uh, an Emmy for the first season. And it turned out to be true. Who wow. are you? Who do you? Who do you lose to? We lost lost to Ted Lasso. We won. Uh, that's tough. Yeah, that was a good show. show. Even yeah. ju- just to be, um, the director got nominated. But even just to be, you know, on that platform and to be up against the shows that we was up. Yeah, I think Ella Elementary was in there. Ted Lasso was in there. Uh, murder. What is it? Murder at the elevator. Some shit. Murder oh, in the building. The Steve murder Martin the show. Yeah, that'd that be a hard show to write. Murders only in the elevator. Whoa. <laughs> what? No, <it> <laughs> we got to keep killing people in this one spot. This right. is tough. But we was up against some good people, and it it was damn good. Yeah, it, it was it was just nice to be there. Is this not really strong? Is I'm not a big alcoholic person. Thank you, sir. These guys oh, look like they drink every day. Oh shit, he got the fruit and everything. Wow, we did. Cheers. cheers, hey, Mazel tov. Cheers to uh, Emmy nom. Nothing wrong with that. And it was for the it was for the a pretty provocative episode, right? The nomination. It's display time. Get your own artwork printed on a metal poster that only takes 20 seconds to install. Just pop that magnetic sticker on the wall and hang that poster. No holes in your wall and change it in seconds. They have officially licensed design from Fight Club, Alien, South Park, and more. If you can think of it, they can print it on a metal poster. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorites and get get 
your ready to hang piece of art. That's 27% if you buy one, or save 27% if you buy one or two, and get 34% off when you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code DRUNK when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code DRUNK, or click the link below in the show notes. FitBod is a new app that creates an exercise program around your goals, equipment, and schedule. It's the easiest way to work out. Hey, man, we're all trying to get fit. Oh, yeah. Look, we take horrible cares of, our, of ourselves. Cares? That's how hungover I am. I just yeah. have cares instead of care. We take bad care of ourselves. We're trying to get fit. We're trying to stay in shape here so, you know, we, we don't feel bad. I don't know. I mean, I feel terrible right now. FitBod varies your routine for you to avoid overtraining. Way cheaper than a personal trainer, FitBod is easy to use on both iOS and Android devices. Their video tutorials make it easy to learn a new routine. You can get a full year of personalized workouts with FitBod for less than the cost of one session with a personalized trainer. Join FitBod today and build a routine that grows with you without slimming down your wallet. 25% off your subscription or try the app for free when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash drunk. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot me slash drunk. The baby daddy. About yeah. my baby daddy. That got nominated. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, about my baby daddy. That's nice. Look. I'm going to take you home. Me, you can fucking make it. <laughs> uh, this guy, he's a Dude. sexy. They're not using you right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the perfect way to use him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to fuck him. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a few more. There you go. That is this damn is really good. Yeah, good. Very good. It's got Bodega Cat in it. Not, not too much, but. A little Bodega Cat whiskey, huh, mm-hmm. you say. Got what in it? I'm going to go to. You want one? Y'all want one? Yeah, they do. Two. This Keep them going. Is better than what we had last night. Hell Pam. yeah, he's Pam, a pro. Do you want one? Pammy, that is yeah, that's gonna get us. Cherry shit you Absolutely got. here. That is get one, Pam. So you fall out on the way to that. Pam, does your dog home. want one? Does Noodle want one? You got your dog here? Oh, oh. I thought you, she brings her everywhere. Oh, okay. No, this fucking dog. Okay. Boy, that is damn good, um, sir. You should do the shirtless. I, I heard that uh, that Norman Lear hit you up. Whoa, the legend himself. Yeah. I went to his 100th birthday party. What? Wow. Yeah. I'm I, so he just hit you up because he's a fan. Well, he saw the show and um, um, he heard about the show and they sent him they sent him some episodes and he called me. Whoa. And I was fucking blown away. And my and my co-creator is more like of a sitcom geek than I am. And he just called to say how much, you know, he really liked the show. You know, a lot of stuff we doing back in those days, he was trying to do what they would only let him get so far. Right. And then he gave us a big shout out on the internet. And, and then he ended up inviting me to his 100th birthday party. Wow. And, it was really nice, you know, to hear Norma Lear say, hey, you got something here. That's incredible. And it's the first thing I ever created for TV. And then you get a call from Pimp Daddy Norma Lear. Yes, the TV king. Yes. And he's so lucid at 100. It's amazing. He's like with it. I mean, I went to his birthday party, and the first thing I said, how in the fuck are you still awake? Exactly. I'm 50. I'm, I've been asleep three times in the back waiting on my time to get on stage. It's, 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 I'm tired as hell. Right. Yeah. But he was really nice. He's really nice. Yeah, what is, does he say? Have you asked him how is he, is that rude to be like, how are you still alive? <laughs> no, I was just hoping he stayed alive until his birthday party, you know, because Betty right. White checked out. Uh, so I really wanted to go to his party. So I was so happy to know that my ticket, my plane ticket wasn't going to be wasted. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks minute. for not dying. United's a real bitch to get like, refunds yeah. from. Let yeah. me make it to the party. Let me make it to the party. And he walked in like. What was the party like? Uh, a bunch of people that was on his show, mm. and a bunch of people he worked with in the industry, and just stuff like that. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel was there. I met oh. Jimmy Kimmel that night. Love Kimmel. And so we we have it was nice. The food suck ass. Really? Well, you know Hollywood people don't eat. Oh, good point. A lot they of chew. anorexia. They chew. <laughs> they don't eat. They don't swallow. Right. They don't want the real calories. Like my ex. <laughs> 
She didn't swallow. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> is you a part of this podcast or you just over there running your mouth? Like, oh, what the fuck is going on? I like that he explained the joke. <laughs> oh, I do scary, that all the buddy. time. I'm like, this is why. <laughs> this is why it should have worked. <laughs> who Did somebody dump you? No, no, I'm married. You married? Yeah. So sorry. who didn't swallow? The ex? The ex. Yeah. You didn't think this joke was going to be broken down this hard, no, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> like, who the fuck is he talking to? I just thought he was talking to somebody on the wall. Well, I'm just making a joke. A I like that. Comedy I, show. I, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it kind of scared me when people just randomly run in their fucking mouth. I'm, really? I'm from places where... You know, people run their mouth like there's something wrong with. That's what I'm looking like. You the fuck okay? I probably have some problems. <laughs> like, cause I need to know if I need to hit you or get the fuck uh, up. No, don't hit him. No, don't no. Hit him. <laughs> hang out. You just random like a bitch didn't swallow. Who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I'm you ain't nobody invisible sucking your dick, is you? No. You have no, a whole conversation by yourself. No, no, I'm just joking around. <laughs> <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. A little bit you did. You know you got that little school shooter face. So I got to be careful. <laughs> I never finished school. But. <laughs> the, uh... You didn't finish school? I'm joking. I finished. I, it's all I jokes. I, I, yeah. I went to community college. No college for me. Oh, yeah? Mm-mm. Who needs it? I, I regret it. I wasted six years. Yeah. You know, my daughter was in. Uh, uh, she's on her third. She was on her third degree. I was like, please drop out this bullshit. Yes. It, it just all it does it puts you in debt, and you're never gonna leave out the house. Right. So you haven't been out the house. You never had a job. Now what the fuck you keep getting all these degrees for? Sounds so nice. She, huh? That sounds really nice. And so I told. Her, I said, come right on my show with me. So she been. Whoa. Writing your daughter's writing on your show. Yeah, all my kids work on the damn How? show. Beautiful. Wow, that's Nepo. great. Yeah, well nepotism, done. whatever the fuck they call it. What do they, what do they all do? My son work in construction. My one of my daughter does makeup. Um and then I have a uh a, a daughter in law that works in another department and then I have a um my daughter writes on the show. Wow. And my friends and stuff like that. Is They're your daughter really funny? She she should be a fucking comedian. She's very funny. Well, she's kind of technically a comedian. She's a comedic writer, right? Yeah, but she I, she could do stand up too. She oh, okay. really could. She yeah. really could, but she won't. She's yeah. kind of shy. Ah. But she 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 been writing on it now for three seasons. And we also developing some other stuff. We just sold another show together. Wow. Where do you sell it? Uh, BT Plus. Damn. They have something over at Netflix, too. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I wish you were my mom. <laughs> wow, well, just saying, my mom wasn't as cool. She had no good gigs. She made me mow the lawn. I wasn't getting a writing well, gig, I'll tell you that. My kids did the same shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. A 40 year old with a 50 year old, they fucking mom. How old is your daughter, <laughs> by the way? 36. Are you kidding oh, me? Wow. No, I'm not that kidding. Is, that is, yeah. You... I had her when I was 14, so we That's were a few crazy. years apart. Wow. Yeah. Is that is that cool? Do you like that you're so close in age? No, somebody fucked me. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't plan to be so that's a 14. Well, that, that question really backfired on me. Yeah. Well, Do you well, like well, me well. in a <laughs> Hell no. Somebody <laughs> fucked me and I got pregnant. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. And, Don't be uh, sorry. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> oh, okay. But still, you got a great relationship with your daughter. You work together. You're selling shows. But not that daughter. That oh. daughter is 24. I'm married to her daddy. Got it's it. It's the first daughter. Who does he have? My gay daughter. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm g I assume you don't speak to the guy who fucked you at the when you were fourteen. He didn't rape me. He fucked me. Oh, okay. I had two kids by him. He's oh, married. Right. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Gotcha. Is he right on the show? <laughs> <laughs> no, he don't write he can't fucking read. <laughs> no, he don't write on the fucking show. He, he last time I talked to him he had had like Three open heart surgery. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Well. So might... he, I don't really talk to him. He always send me a message through Facebook. Mm. He speak emojis. Uh, <laughs> but it's cool. You guys are still, you're cool. I mean, it's a, it, it's not. I don't have a relationship. Hey, bye. It's, I've been married thirty one years. I have nothing to say to him. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had a we had a really crazy relationship. Sure. I was twelve. He was twenty two when I met him. Wow. Wow. That's uh. Wow. That's what young. was your wow so long? Well, it was young. Wow, it's young. Very young. 12 is young. 
Yeah. I young. mean, anyone else hard? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not, a joke. I'm not actually hard. The wow was you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're not supposed to fuck a 12 year old. <laughs> How was it? That was the wow. Island? <laughs> I was not on Epstein Island. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Another joke. I think the women on Epstein's Island were older. I think they were. I think they were older than. Uh, I hope Woody they were older. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Not that much older, but older. Yeah. I think I fourteen, sure so. fifteen. Yeah. So yeah. I got a real question: Is it difficult disciplining a kid that's like fourteen years younger than you? Because I'm thirty years older than my seven-year-old, and like I can't control him. Like what? I, you I can't, can't control a fucking seven year old? Well, when he started to talk bitch. back. He's a, look at how weak he is. a seven year old talk back? Exactly. I, can you come over and handle some shit for I me? I will because... beat the white off your back. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? A seven year old talk Talking back? Talking back. Uh, see, we just, I mean, as black and white people, mm. we just raise different. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Italians and Mexicans and blacks, we kind of all the same people. Mm. White people, y'all just be like, y'all read too many fucking books to do shit. Stop reading the book and take the fucking life way. Set your motherfucking ass down. You notice back in the day, I'm 50. So back in the day, it was not a such thing as ADHD. Right. You know, my, my I had a special need uncle. And when my special need uncle act up, my granddaddy whooped his ass. Whoa. He like, Cecil? And he was crippled. He said, I told you don't piss at school Before today. or after the beating. <laughs> he would tell him, I'm going to oh, whoop good. your ass because you pissed oh, on that school bus. <laughs> oh, damn. That's how, a double how, whammy. How is Cecil doing now? <laughs> he, he been dead. Uh, <laughs> Ah, he's I don't right know on the show. <laughs> I feel like this is—is is this a cautionary tale? I, I don't no, know what I'm the point of the story. <laughs> My uncle Cecil was special need, and he got his ass beat yeah. when he acted up. Well, that's Man. not good. He used to like to call nine one one because he was fascinated with the police uniform. <laughs> no, because he was scared. Uh, well, this was before police really started whipping niggas' asses. Right. So yeah. they used to wear bow ties in Atlanta. Really? And he loved to choke the police out. Oh. And he choked a white woman out one time, and I'm not lying. I think I seen the police department. I mean, falling out the air. <laughs> they whooped my uncle ass. When he, they fold my crippled uncle up because he was crippled. Oh. Especially, they fold his ass up like an envelope. Damn. And they drug his ass in that paddy wagon. And he went to jail. And he and when, and when he got to jail, they you know they knew he was special need. Right. And um, they let him go. They ended up letting him go. My granddaddy beat his ass because he used to love to dial nine one one and hang up. Oh. And back in those days, there was no Star Sixty Nine. The police just came out. Whoa. And when they got there, he would anything in uniform. <laughs> my if my if my granddaddy was alive now, <laughs> and you could like he would put a change around my uncle's waist because he loved people. He loved to beat the shit out of people in uniform. So when he took him to the grocery store, he would have a change around his waist. So when he act up, he would yank him back. <laughs> Is this in the show? This is good stuff. That we is can't put this shit in the I show. I mean, that's gold. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. a flashback scene. <laughs> you, just put, you just make it look a little fizzy when you shoot it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but oh, about uh, my granddad used to. Uh, I, I'm quite sure I watched my special, but my granddad, he, my uncle was up. Uh, he was, he was special need. Back mm. in those days, we could say the retarded word, but we can't say it anymore. Sure. And he would have seizures, so my granddad thought it, it was only because he would, couldn't bust nuts, so he would buy him <laughs> pussy. And once he bought my uncle <laughs> pussy, he thought that would calm down the seizures. <laughs> And me and my sister had to go in there and help my uncle get ready with the prostitute because he was crippled. You know, crippled people needs to go in like a kangaroo. Right. So we would go in there and pull his legs apart <laughs> so he could get some pussy. And, you know, I didn't mind Damn. helping my uncle get pussy. It's the excitement. Because, you know, he was special need. Uh, he'd be sm stop smiling, stick your dick in this bitch so I can go play Pac-Man. <laughs> so, oh, that was the first dick God. I ever seen. And it was so big. It was so fucking big. There was times I would, guys, I'd be like, you ain't got no Uncle Caesar dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was so big. And, what, what a waste. No, it was not a waste. Well, he, my but, granddad but he's only fucking whores, though. He's not, you don't get to... My granddaddy bought him. My uncle be being there tearing them bitches up with his knees knocking. Wow. <laughs> well, special needs dick is bigger. Uh, yeah, what is that? Retarded dick is bigger, I think. Uh, I grew up with a re uh, special needs kid, no Cecil, and we didn't buy him any whores, but uh, he had a real honker. Really? I mean, it was like a parking cone. It was insane. It went. It was orange. It made yeah. a shape like a like a triangle. You're so fucking white. The mama said a honker. I mean, that thing was a real piano leg. What, what, by the way, what is Salakus looking up? Is he looking up like a honker? I see you googling. What Google. Is this? 
<laughs> retarded dick, and you will see some real tree trunks. I'm not going to Google that. How quickly is this episode going to get demonetized? <laughs> well, we got why why aren't we making money off the retarded dick episode? <laughs> I'm telling you, retard We lost all our sponsors? And retard strength is no <laughs> joke. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth, because my uncle, he used to like to eat rice. We yeah. wouldn't eat grits, and we from the south. You know, we love grits. Oh yeah. And he would only eat out of a pot with the handle burnt on the end. Whoa. So my granddad ended up shooting his neighbor like eight times because she called him a big black faggot or some a <laughs> sissy or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just telling y'all these are stories, so yeah, don't come yeah. after me for those words. Yeah. Right, right. Um, Other people's words. And so Stay my granddad he pulled out two pistols because his name was 38, and he shot her. Like wow. both with both pistols, and so he ended up in jail. And my mom had to keep Uncle Cecil, and she, we fucked around and left his pot somewhere one day. He mm. wouldn't eat, and my mom said, "Cecil, take the goddamn plate." And he's like, "I want the plate, bitch! How about goddamn pot?" My mama slapped Cecil upside the head with all that rice went down his trauma, his ear. We were taking <laughs> rice out of your ear for two weeks. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> wow. I've heard a cauliflower ear, but uh, no, this is crazy. She stuffed, she stuffed so much rice in my uncle's ear. But you know what he I mean, and I remember when he passed away and I had never seen a uh, person who was crippled mm, wow. die so I was like how y'all gonna put him in the casket and he was like we're gonna break his, his dick was that big no <laughs> <laughs> it was an open casket <laughs> <laughs> no cause you know his leg when he, his legs would be in the air yeah, when yeah. he was sleeping <laughs> and so his legs would be in the air like a bridge but they <laughs> broke his leg and he was laying straight and he was actually a pretty tall man after he died mm, wow uh, damn. damn you go out there's your parenting tips you good <laughs> beat your kids yeah big dick shoot your neighbor <laughs> shoot your, uh, <laughs> right. uncle some pussy <laughs> Right no. there. He shot him, and they both, I'm assuming, died from this. No, she didn't die. She took all He the shot bullets. him eight times, and they didn't die? She didn't die. It was a woman. He got wow. like 10 years for shooting her. Wow. I was, I was sitting on the porch with him that day, and he shot her finger off. Damn. And she was pointing at it. It was like a Tarantino I, movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. I was holding his leg, and he said, now, bitch, I put all that hot leg in, hot lead in you. He told my aunt, right? she's like, why you shoot him, daddy? He was like, fuck up. Go back there and pull that moonshine out so they don't lock me up. <laughs> Like, you going to jail? You don't shot the shit out there, lady. And she was just laying in the grass bleeding. I had to be about eight years old. Wow. And my aunt, why you shoot her? That fuck her. That's what he was saying. Fuck her. Damn. I and they came and locked him up. He had both his guns. He had laid them down. Police pulled up. He said, "I shot the bitch." Damn. Holy moly. Fuck her. Fuck her is also what he said to Cecil. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, Damn. what a story. And that that was is just, crazy. You, that was a Tuesday. <laughs> it was during the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, how do you make the weekend even come close? I know, right? Well, you get Cecil a hooker. That's what you do. <laughs> Cecil's a great name. <laughs> that really is. Ain't nobody named Cecil no fucking uh, one lion. Except that, that lion, yeah. yeah. Remember the lion, Cecil? He was also shot. <laughs> <laughs> also had a huge cock. <laughs> he had well, a huge cock, too? <laughs> I don't know. R.I.P. Cecil. You'll be missed. Damn, how long ago did Cecil pass? Oh, probably 20 years ago. Oh, wow. mm. He'd been gone a long time. Damn. That's a crazy story that you helped Cecil have sex. Oh, all the time. Me and my sister. And my granddad would give us 50 cent to go play Pac-Man. Oh, right. Once Damn. he gets started. Because once he stuck the dick in, he, he was good. He could <laughs> hunch. I'm the same way. He just he didn't have no, he didn't know how to hold his penis and just get it in. I guess and I guess by me my, me and my sister pulling his leg, we gave him aim. Right, <laughs> man, that's a close knit family. <laughs> Damn, you got to write this into your show. That's a little <laughs> no. I'm not going to write no? it in my show. I don't think they'll let me get away with that one. I said it's BT Plus. It's right. It's cable. well, I wrote a bunch of crazy shit in there, but I did it on a special, so I don't know. Yeah, but you could, I mean, it's probably point. a flashback. Flashback. But I, I don't even know. I, I don't, where would I get the actor from? I mean, You'd have to get a special needs person now because they get mad if you. Uh, if you imitate them. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame them. They was taking money out of their pocket. That's true. Get your ass out there wheelchair and let me who be in the wheelchair for real be in there. There you go. I don't want you for playing a big, fat black woman. That's not fair to me. Mm. Get a real yeah. pro- you got to get a real prostitute, too, for that. Huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, busting the nut cure his seizures? No, I don't know what my granddad came with that stupid shit. Caesar still had seizures all the fucking time. He, I mean, he would have seizures and we would put spoons in his mouth and shit. Uh, oh damn. And uh, 
and it was we 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 was trained as kids. He ever just get a spoon and my, we couldn't use the good spoons. But right. We couldn't use his plastic either because he could swallow it. Nah. So we just get a, a tablespoon and stick it in his mouth and let him chew and spin. And he lay there and then he always we always had a good cold Pepsi waiting for him when he woke up. Nice. He liked Pepsi. All right, so there was some good times. <laughs> this prostitute, we got to get her on the pod, too. I want to talk to her. That's a Cecil hell of a... Cecil was a handful. That's yeah. what we call that episode. Quite a make-a-wish. That is... <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that doesn't cure diseases, but I think we could definitely treat more illnesses <laughs> that way. Make-a-wish. Just wish. bang hookers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kids don't get to do that. But yeah. Yeah. Those are great fa- I never but went you, to Disneyland. Well, yeah, but, what, what would you rather meet, Mickey Mouse or bang a whore? Exactly. But you know what? People you know? don't realize that special need people need sex, too. Oh, they're horny. Yeah. Yes. They're they, back. They, up. They need fucking sex too. Of course. But we just sit here and treat them like they don't want to bust a nut. My granddaddy knew Cecil wanted to bust a nut oh, every yeah. Friday and Saturday. He had him whore, and he would <laughs> and he would give him pussy. My, he would like they would get a half a pint of gin because that's what my granddaddy sold. He sold oh. moonshine and he sold, he sold corn liquor and then he sold gin and single cigarettes. Wow. So if you go back there and fuck Cecil, you get a half a pint. Nice. Damn. That's worth it. Cecil. That was like maybe two dollars back in the oh, day. Well, the girl got a full pint. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil. Yeah. Damn, that is crazy. That's a crazy story. That's just, like, it's so visual too. I and mean. the fact that you helped with the pulling the leg, all that shit. Me is... and my sister would pull his leg. Apart wow! If I saw my brother naked, I was running for the hills. Let alone my special needs uncle. And he used to, he used to like, he's always big for nickels, and he loved. He's like, hey girl, give me two nickels. Two nickels make a dime. But he didn't like dimes, hmm. so he would have a pocket full of change. So he always had on two belts, cause all he did was ask everybody who went in the bootleg house for nickels. Wow. So I, when we had to get those pants off him, you let that belt go, it sounded like a fucking ching ling 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 Jackpot. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Just take him to a coin star, huh? There was no coin stars back then. Oh, yeah. Just, I, I think they're going away again. Mm-hmm. Are they? They're hard to find, those little Well, changes arcades. out. Arcades, yeah, changes out. It's all out. Venmo now. Strip clubs take Venmo. True really? story. Hey, you probably think you spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total is closer to 200 Most Americans do. You could be wasting hundreds of dollars each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. That's why we love Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Rocket Money shows all your subscriptions in one place, even the ones you didn't know you were paying for, and cancels whatever ones you don't want. You may even find out you've been double-charged for a subscription. It happens. To cancel a subscription, just press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Easy. Sell them out. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Hey, hey, folks, where we might be drunk is brought to you by Tushy. Hello. Taco Tuesday was a great time, but let's be honest, now things are rough down there. Thank God for Hello Tushy, the bidet that keeps things clean. No matter what junk you put in your body, you got to use Tushy to wipe that b-hole clean, especially now with the... uh, the uh what's it called uh, fornicating and the you know the old uh eat in the back door if you know what i mean that's very popular these days and you don't want to have a nice snail trail back there and you definitely don't want to have a couple of shreds of tp and a peanut and a piece of corn so get yourself some tushy folks and clean that back porch because people want to go in there yeah so the Hello Tushy Bidet cleans two times better than wiping and prevents poop particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. It attaches to your existing toilet, requiring no electricity or additional plumbing, and it cut toilet paper usage by 80%. Save the planet, you kooks. If you do the math, Tushy pays for itself in just a few months. Every Hello Tushy Bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of people already love Hello Tushy. And be part of taking care of business the cleaner way. Go to hellotushy.com forward slash drunk and use promo code DRUNK 
to get 10% off plus free shipping on your bid day order. On your first one, 10% off. That's hellotushy.com slash drunk for 10% off. Get on it, folks. How do you pay the G- guy who's been to a strip club recently? <laughs> I went last weekend. <laughs> Did where'd you go? Which uh, Rochester. What? Yeah. Why? There's nothing else to do. Yeah, but that's not where you want to go to the strip club. No, well, that's why we went. We're like, let's go see some down and dirty. How was the talent there? Not great. <laughs> what was you at? Rochester. I forgot the name of it. You was in Rochester doing a gig. Yeah. New York. Yeah. Oh. It was. Fun. I don't know. I, th- I thought he was talking about North Carolina. There's a couple of Rochesters around this great nation. Is, isn't it a there's one in Minnesota as well. Yeah, there there's, there's Rochesters. Um, yeah, I would never go to a strip club in Rochester. It was still Why? a lot of Cecils walking around. Why? Because t- the women were Cecils. <laughs> <laughs> the women were Cecils. Oh yeah, big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, we popped in. It was it was weird. Who was it? You and Murphy? No, it was with uh, Andrew Youngblood. He was open. He's from there, and we popped in. We popped out. Damn. Yeah. That sounds rough. But I'll tell you, you go to a, like one of these small towns, you go to the strip clubs. I got two tequila sodas. It was like four bucks or something. Really? Yeah. Cause they want you to buy the hose, not the sodas. I guess so. Yeah, but in Vegas, you go to a strip club in Vegas, they're like, you know, you get two, and then they're like, buy me one and buy yeah. my friend one. Yeah. You're like, all right. They're like, that'll be $200. You're like, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I haven't gotten the dance yet. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Two hundred dollars for somebody? No, not really, but it's it's crazy expensive. No, Vegas is expensive. Oh yeah, strip clubs in Vegas are crazy, and New York why too. Why you going to a strip club when you married? Well, that's why. You know, you you look, don't touch. <laughs> right. I like how she's passing judgment after she helped her uncle get. I was a kid. You need to shut your damn mouth. Whoa! Stop that seven year old from whipping your you know ass over I'm with her. Shut the fuck up, yeah. Sally Kears. Fuck you. What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah. You should hire me to be your nanny. <laughs> yeah, you should. Get you some should. discipline in that kid. <laughs> She'll kick your ass too. He's running rampant. Piece of shit. He's Is gonna... it a boy or girl? Do we really talk back? Yeah. What does he say to you, dude? He's like, uh, no, I won't do that. Or stop it. He'll stop it. Well, wow, I even learned it from me. I say, yeah, no. but that's when you're trying to touch him inappropriately. Right? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> you beat me to <laughs> it. <laughs> you, your I seven year old tell you to stop it? Mm hmm. And do you stop it? No, the thing I, I try to talk to him like you can't talk like that. Like I'm trying to like, reason. No, with him. give him a taste of the back of the hand. A little no, raspberry. He 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 passed the back. He get the front. Oh jeez. Yeah. Ray Rice him. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Dude, cut him. Who gives a shit? Cut him. <laughs> cut him. He's already circumcised. Is your, is your, is your you married? Yeah. And what does she do? He run over her too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you see that special that um, that um, uh, thing on Netflix where that, those people down in uh, the Murdochs? That? Yeah, that's what oh. you about to become. We're not Murdochs. rich. We... You don't, you about to be the Poe Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you about to be the Murdoch. That's what you raised. Is there another way to do it other than hitting them? Is there some other solution? Well, you got you got you got to figure out. That's a good one. Uh, you got to figure out a way that you got the baby. Y'all have letting this seven year old take control of the situation. Yeah. Mm. You gotta jack his ass up. <laughs> To let him know that you're fucking serious because you lost control. When a child can tell their parents no, 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 you done lost control. Yeah. I got a 14, a 10, 11. Ain't no motherfucking body in my house telling me no. I will slap your motherfucking eyes in your eardrums. There you go. And get a metal chain if you go to the grocery store <laughs> and yank that kid around. I love your callbacks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for catching that. Yeah, you 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 losing control. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can get it back now as the child is seven. Yeah. All this time out, this is no respect. Yeah, here he yeah. is. He's lost I'll tell you, this guy's got no respect at all. <laughs> now, what about if your woman's out of control? Can I hit her? Oh I'm choking God. again. <laughs> <laughs> Try it and see where you uh, end up at. I don't know. Well, she's already in a wheelchair, so that helps. But Your wife's in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, but he pays for her prostitutes too. So well, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I pushed her down some stairs. You're a damn liar. <laughs> White men do not put their wives in wheelchairs. You just kill them. Ah, uh, good that's point. That's true. Good point. Murdoch. Yeah. Yeah. Shot his wife in the face. I believe. You know, didn't he get busted from the Snapchat or the, the video with the yeah, dog? Yeah, his son. Right? When he shot his son, yeah, the, the dog. Son was on, no, the son was on Snapchat when he when he shot him. 
Yeah. No. What? Isn't that amazing? That's how you got. What? That's how you really got caught. I didn't he didn't know, know his son was on the internet. Wow. Yeah. Something good came out of that app. Yeah. That app sticks. Yeah. No, it's amazing. He uh, he almost got away with it, but I well, mean, he got away with did. killing the housekeeper. They killed the housekeeper. The, no, the hold on, the, the dogs killed the housekeeper. That's unacceptable. <laughs> no, he killed, no he killed the housekeeper. They killed the housekeeper. That the other son killed, supposedly killed a gay lover. I know. Yeah. Uh, so either either that son is gay or he's. Well, he's you never know. His name is yeah. Buster. Yeah. Come on. And who Buster else did nut. they kill? They had like five or six bodies on their hands. Oh yeah. yeah, boating accident. Boat. Oh, killed the girl on the boat. Yeah. She was cute. And and they got and they got away with it. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, they really they really ran shit in that town. The, oh yeah. Everyone for thirty for 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 years for years. Snapchat. Did anyone like it? <laughs> um, but yeah, they ran. Her reactions are as fun as the joke right now. This is. I'm quite sure they got a bunch of lights after you heard boom, boom. Like what the fuck? Hey, they get down over there. Yeah, you know what? I, I did think watching that though when they when they showed the boyfriend run off the boat and he was shirtless. I was like, this dude's got a good body. That's true. He was Dude, a hunk. This guy works out a lot. Clearly, he was. Uh, I can tell that I'm guy. getting older. I was like, look at this young buck right here. Oh yeah. It's, that family should have been stopped a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. That family, but you know, even in those the, small towns, you though. know what? Even if he hadn't killed his wife and son, that boy by now would have been so far out of hand because they had covered up so much bullshit. I know. Yeah, him. he. I mean, he is the epitome of of a uh, what is it called? White what? Old boy network privilege. Old boy network white privilege. Oh. There you well, go. Well, yeah, and it, it, it was one of those things watching that doc that even though they're wealthy, it's like watching Succession. You know, even though they're super wealthy, you're like, this doesn't look fun. This doesn't right. look like you're having a good life. Oh, like, they're every, all miserable. Every picture they looked fucking miserable. And they're drinking their sorrows away. Oh yeah, and the family. When you see well, how much they were have, drinking. If you was in North Carolina. I think it was South Carolina. South Carolina, wherever, the, any Carolina. Mm. <laughs> I mean, with 100 acres and all the money and nobody still likes you. Did, right. you see, did you not see Buster? I mean, they wasn't the best looking. His, the friends was way better looking kids That's than true. they were. Yeah, he looked like Chucky, for fuck's sake. But yes. he was still pulling ass. Well, they're well, the rich kids. Rich. The yeah. power. Yeah. If he had a lot of money, he could ask. Well, he got ass. Yeah, he's got yeah. a wife and a hot kid. Look at that red yeah. ginger cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he's got Yeah. He's got to have a Sorry tough the language. He's got to have a tough life now. I mean, like what he's lost everybody in his family. He got all the money. Oh, he'll be doing stand-up he comedy. He was just he was just in Vegas. Really? Was he? Yeah, he was in Vegas doing the uh doing the trial. Him and Rittenhouse are doing a podcast. <laughs> 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 but the dad looks like Gary Busey too. <laughs> Look at that. And he, he shaved his head. That's never a oh, good sign. Oh, bad luck. No, the daddy lost all that fucking oh, weight too. Oh, that's a scary honk. You know he looked like Woody uh, look uh, white man can't jump. What's Harrelson. his name? Yeah, he looked like Woody Harrison. Oh, right? oh come on. Woody's Harrelson's better, better looking, looking than that guy. That, that guy. Murdoch? Like a demon. Pull up Woody Harrison now. Woody looks. I'm going. Uh, Woody He's looks better than this dude. That charming. man looks like Woody Harrison. Ah, uh, that's not bad actually. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> the charm goes a long way. <laughs> yeah, he ain't killed nobody. This right. guy's not pulling Rosie Perez and White Man Can't Jump. Come oh, on, she was hot, huh? Well, that dude, that ain't pulling Rosie Perez and White Man Can't Jump. Yeah, that's when he was young. Right. Yeah. yeah true. Yeah. Billy Hoyle. Rosie yeah. Perez looks pretty good these days, still. Still holding up. Still holding up. Puerto Rican don't. Puerto Rican got that. What we got? That shit don't. You know, it don't fade yeah. too quick. You do yeah. not look fifty. That's crazy that you're fifty. Well, when you don't, when you don't do drugs and cigarettes and alcohol and that much, you know, wow. all skin hold up pretty good. Mm. There you go. Like, but I'm fifty. Chris Rock has got to be fifty-eight. He looks amazing. Yeah, he looks good. Incredible. It's nothing like black skin with money. Yeah, it's a whole nother different level. Well, how about like Gabrielle Union? She looks ridiculous. Have you ever seen her? You're ridiculous good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she looks good. She do. Nia Long, too. What? Nia Long's at the end of that Chris yeah. Rock special. She looks the same as when she was in Friday. She She's awesome. beautiful. Yeah, she yeah. also got fucked over by that Celt old Celtics coach. He was like fucking in-house, wow, that coach. Hot. Her he husband's was, just he fucking. Was he was trying to keep it on. He was trying to keep it in house, and they let it go. Well, mm. you can't. You can't be fucking people's wives in house. Is that what, she was married? Uh, other people. He was people who was fucking were married. I believe. I think that's why he got let go. Damn. I thought he was one only fucking one person. No, I think there were multiple people. Yeah. I think it was a Good Morning America situation where he was fucking a lot. Oh. Now you cannot. What was his name throwing all that dick around Good Morning America? I don't Cecil? know. Cecil. 
Oh. <laughs> Matt Lauer. Thank oh, you. Matt Lauer. He's a cute that guy. That was not Matt no, Lauer. No, I'm talking, talking about Good Morning Black America, the, the, the interracial TJ Holmes was throwing him yeah. out at Yeah, yeah. And they was trying to hate on him. Yeah. No, he was slinging some good old D to that uh, blonde lady. It was more than that blonde lady. Uh-oh. Well, I no, he fucked everybody on that show. I mean, if you're fuckable. Yeah. He's got those nice eyes. Oh, yeah. He fucked quite a few of them. And they together now, right? Ear to ear. He's happy. He's getting that guy's got no jizz left. <laughs> That's a happy guy. He's got an empty sack for sure. Oh, the yeah. The fuck is. <laughs> well, you know, he's jizzing a lot. Are I'm y'all saying. saying the man nuts empty? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's because he fucks a lot. Yeah. The man is old as fuck. I'm, I'm quite sure they only had full feel anyway. <laughs> That's true. This is like Freud. Is the ball sack half full? Or is it? <laughs> He's an optimist. <laughs> He's shooting prune juice. Baby. <laughs> well, I'm quite sure he's happy he's shooting prune juice. He should be done with having kids. So oh, mummy yeah. dust pops out of his cock when he comes? Mm -hmm. It's an Ooh. older fella. Oh, no, he's just older. <laughs> just bang, little flag. <laughs> Some of this shit going over my head. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, uh, I did their show once. He, they couldn't have been nicer. They were great. Oh, yeah, you were Good. in the way. You <laughs> did you swing? Uh, I would have if they asked me. Oh, really? Shit. No, but it, she was. She, I think she's pretty hot. You never did a threesome? No, I did have the guy walk in on me once. <laughs> never had the threesome. How did about he you? jump on you? No, I'm not doing that kind of shit. No, nah, it's not my thing. You've done a threesome? Yeah. Couple. Devils or regular? Miss Pat, you were there. No, the <laughs> fuck Look at that three right there. Oh, I'll tell you. That's a hot three way. That's a three -way. We got yeah. a gold, really? Jew, and a black. This is like a walk into a bar. <laughs> Why was you on Good Morning America? I was promoting a, a special. He's and, a big uh, Matt Lauer fan. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love Matt Lauer. Why are you fuck talking that talking bullshit? Oh, yeah. yeah. He was hot. You think he's a good looking dude? He's, he's very good looking. What is he doing now? Chilling in the Hamptons. I don't know what he's doing. What he is he doing? He got fired. Yeah. I know he got fired for bitches sucking his dick for positions, but yeah. supposedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Katie yeah. Kirk was pretty damn hot. Yeah, she had a moment. She's hot. What do you do when you're with, cause you all what, What's your nationality? White? Italian and French. White. My, nas my nationality, you're asking? Oh, I'm like Eastern European Ashkenazi Jew. So you, so pretty much white people, right? Yeah. <laughs> Depends so, who you ask. Yeah. But. So what do you do when your women's like you know? Because as African American women, you know, most white women start about thirty five and they start to fade for them. Oh yeah, especially the Irish. Ooh, a couple <laughs> of pumpkins. <laughs> But what are you asking? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, oh, you're like Cecil. Yeah. <laughs> so how do that make you feel? I mean, do you stick with them when they start to wrinkle? Do that the stuff women? bother you? I mean, I'm single, but I... I, I uh, well, that's why you see Leo with a couple of 11-year-olds, you know, because yeah. he's trying to get in early. Who the fuck is Leo? DiCaprio. Leo DiCaprio. No, 19, but that's, 19. But that's pretty... That's Leo a, DiCaprio a with a 19 year Yeah. yeah. Pull does it up. It, does it bother you? Does it bother me that he dates when a 19 they age year old? like that? When women age? Yeah. No, it's part of. Uh, it's a bummer. You deal with it though. <laughs> yeah. You know. Where the fuck did you get him from? <laughs> <laughs> but you love him, so you stick with him, and then now there goes all kinds of. Well, I'm, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me because I'm not. Lotions. I don't think I've been in a relationship. <laughs> they got that crack long. or lotion. Oh yeah, Botox, the lotion, Pam. You're on half that shit. You know, it's uh, <laughs> they got the shots and the the peels and the surgeries. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you know what, Pam? Pam, is Pam doesn't get to disclose my rela relationships. This is pretty rude. Seriously, my publicist is trying to fucking <laughs> Pam, reading. your publicist? Bury me here, yeah. Yeah, we're taking she, shots. I didn't know Pam was your publicist. Yeah. She talks a lot. She, she never stops talking. It's crazy. Oh you want to come on here or what? I, <laughs> she's really good at what she do, but One so One of the best in times, the business, and I really enjoy her as a person. I do, but I hang up on her all the time. I know. Ah. I'm always like, enough, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my. She loves to talk. Got a real I was like, bowl. Pam, if you suck dick at that speed, you <laughs> a bad motherfucker. I don't say that to her because that could get me in a lot of trouble at some point. But she can't suck dick; she's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> can't get the dick in there. But <laughs> you as stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, you don't know the fuck you talking about either because I know people who suck dick while they talking. Wow, they really? They give speeches. That's a small dick. <laughs> all those words out. I can barely talk with a toothpick in, let alone a penis. You got dicks? You suck dick? No, I'm just saying if I... You get it. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I tried to suck my own once, and I, I got a lick in. Yeah, it's good to get a lick in. Yeah, I got yeah. a lick. Are you lick? serious? I tried. Every guy tries. See? No, yeah. I've never tried to eat my pussy. Well, that's not Well, that's happen. much harder to get There's to. no length. Yeah, Unless no. you got crazy labia. Yeah. What is labias? Labia, the flapping. <laughs> labia. The lips. Oh, I call them lips. Oh, okay. Lips. Yeah, no, you gotta have, you'd have to have a really meaty situation down there to reach the tongue. It's yeah. just not going to happen. Or a huge clit. I yeah. have no... I, who wants to eat their pussy? I've seen my drawers. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> yeah. All I, right. I think eating pussy is great. I'm going to go... I'm a fan. I don't care who I offend here. I think eating a lady's vagina is great. Yeah. I don't care how many female until, listeners until, I piss off with until that. Until you seen... <laughs> I don't care. Until you seen the underwear we hid. Don't, don't really? show me the underwear. The hidden underwear? Is that like Legend of the Hidden Temple? <laughs> <laughs> I put on goggles when I do it. Do you? Yeah, oh yeah. That's how much squirting you know happens? Yeah, big Damn. squirter, the wife. That's crazy. She could Wait, put out a cripple? candle. <laughs> on the wheelchair? Yeah, the wheelchair. She can't feel anything, but it's shooting. I put a broomstick in the wheels. Really? Yeah, she can't get away. I'm she went flying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, is that? what is that cartoon character with the yellow on with the big glasses? Uh, yellow with the, the big. They're yellow. They look like little Dilbert. Oh, the minions. The minions. Mm. That, that's what you look like eating pussy. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like. That's what you look like with her glasses on. Yeah, when you eat. That's pussy. me. <laughs> and I get a miner's hat with the light on it. Man, they are cute little things. Those minions, huh? Look how cute. Ooh, what are you doing? Fixing a wheelchair while you eating her? <laughs> yeah, I'm screwing in the hubcaps. Yeah, big big fan of the clam dive. Clam dive. You know, eating the gash. Uh, no, I don't know. You know, enjoying the ham wallet, <laughs> the hatchet wound, the yeah. honey pot, the twat. The pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what did you say? He can do five more. Uh, the love hole. The vajayjay. Hey, the vajayjay. Uh, the the cooter. The coochie. The One beef. More. The beaver. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> the cooter. It's like the weirdest episode of Family Feud ever. <laughs> <laughs> Fast money. I'm from Louisiana. We said cooter. Is that the name when you're sleeping with your cousin? <laughs> cooter. Uh, I had a second cousin who was pretty hot. Would you? Second cousin. Really? Did you fuck her? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no goddamn sense. You buy crazy as a damn uh, empty wallet. <laughs> <laughs> An empty I've never wallet. Heard that That's one. a good one. All right. That's great. Do you Ooh. have any pet peeves, Miss Pat? Ah, oh, what is my pet peeve? Uh, I don't like my feet to be cold. Oh, That's a big one. I, I get bad circulation too. I, I sleep in socks all the time. Really? Yeah. Not yeah, me. I, I don't like my feet to be cold. I don't really want nobody touching my feet. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. What about sucking the toes? Hey, nobody <laughs> never sucked my fucking toes, okay? All right, give me I got dog feet. So really? Yeah, my mama said when she was pregnant with me, she had a little dog that liked her. Mm -hmm. And I came out with his feet, so I don't have no toenails. What? Wow. They're very small. They're like little dots. Oh. Prove it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, me. Woof. Well, the dog feet. <laughs> woof, woof. But wow, okay. Feet. What about dirty feet? That's a problem too. You ever have dirty feet and you go to bed? You yeah, gotta wash them. Gotta wash them. Yeah. I get in bed with dirty feet. Ugh. Gonna get the the gonna get the sheets ruined. <laughs> well, you gotta wash the sheet anyway. Do you take a bath every night when you go to bed? No. I don't either. I think that's such a waste of water. I agree. How how often do you clean the sheets at home? Do you think? About once a week. That's way better what? than me. That's, uh, That's women are women are better at, than, than guys are. Especially with those dirty ass feet, those dog feet. <laughs> My motherfucking feet ain't dirty. Oh, okay. You some bitch. I said I got dog feet. <laughs> I ain't told you nothing about it. it was fucking dirty. Your fucking feet dirty. That's true. They are. Yeah, but I, at least I, I got dirty. I got toenails at least. But <laughs> uh, we're having fun. We have, I have a peeve. Please. You ever, you ever have that friend who you who calls you but they only have like 
a three minute window where they call you but and then you miss the call and you call back and they can't talk again for like a week oh yeah they in jail the, the, no the fr- <laughs> <laughs> I got one phone call <laughs> well done <laughs> my that friends is, <laughs> my friends in jail good. dog feet in the house <laughs> that was good shit <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking silly. The good one though, the what? guy who can't, the call window guy. The call window. Yeah, that's no good. Then you got to wait a week. And what if it's important? It's never important, but it's just annoying that they're like, they're like, I got three minutes now, and then I have to be around people for another week. Right. Yeah. My, I gotta peeve. How about this one? The guy who's grilling you while you're eating no pun intended but he's like i'm eating a burger and he's like so when what time's this when is that i'm like whoa oh, <laughs> when you got a tomato hanging out of your mouth i'm like let me finish eating it's like alec baldwin you let him eat at the restaurant you mentioned that earlier but i'm just don't don't quiz me while i'm eating let me get the food down and then we'll talk no i know you mean the, the, the rapid fire it's yes. not the question that bothers you it's the oozy like intensity yeah while i'm yeah. my mouth is full so then i got see you see that's your fucking problem you, <laughs> you don't know how to multitask uh-huh. you need to learn how to swallow and speak well, you know, talk with the food in your mouth anybody can do that i'm trying to eat pussy here well, you said you were eating a burger, not Oh, pussy. well, that's what I call it. Now, why is somebody drilling you while you eating pussy? Well, I'm joking. Is the pussy but... alive? <laughs> sure, I, I hope. You look like you leaked them pocket pussy from Amazon. Oh. oh well, I practice on those. But, yeah. No, but the, the, the burger. You I know? like you added it from Amazon. <laughs> the, the ultimate insult. Not only is it a pocket pussy, you needed it in one to two business days. <laughs> What a slam. <laughs> <laughs> I have pride. Get it to you quick. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get it to you quick. <laughs> Need that Bezos. Why am I on second, second alcohol and y'all still drinking the first one? Oh, you got a point there. You got a point. I'm on it. Putting them back, sister. Hang tight. This ain't what you usually drink, is it? Mm-mm. No, I'm not. I'm not a big sweet. I'm not, I don't sweet. like sweet cocktails, but this tastes very good. I have to That's admit. a killer. You did a good job. Sour. I'm more of a just a whiskey guy. If I do a cocktail, more of a Manhattan, maybe or like a you know. Don't know what that is. Just whiskey, Ooh, vermouth, this is a bitters. Bitch drink. I know this is a bitch drink. Well, but it's a good bitch drink. I, I mean, I try I like... to beef it up with the bodega cat a little bit. Yeah, it's got, like it's got egg white in it too. That's what the smoothness is. Uh... You did egg white too. You didn't do it like crustacean. That's how they do it at Crest Station in L.A. Oh, really? They put the egg white in it. Is that yeah. a cool spot? Yeah, it's a very cool spot. Very expensive. Very good. Do you, like, do you like going to L.A. or no? I don't like L.A. I don't like New York either. Whoa. You're, you live in Atlanta. Neither? Usually you've got to pick one. <laughs> I don't like neither. This place is so dirty. That's true. This is a dirty. and I've, The people walk around here act like they don't even see the fucking rats. Mm. The rats are on their way to work. <laughs> I fucking cannot stand this dirty. And then they don't have normal crazy people. They have crazy people. Like the lady who was doing my makeup, she said she was coming to do my makeup. And the dude walked up and said, I'm a sex defender, so I'm about to touch you. What, what kind of bullshit is that? She said, well, I have a knife. He said, never mind. Wow. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? Damn. And so the people here are just like... I can't. Then I've never seen people get in arguments with cars. These, <laughs> they don't care how they hit you. They walk out in the road. It's just too many people in this motherfucker. It is a lot of people, dude. I don't know if you guys walked in when I walked in, but when I was coming up this block, there was an ambulance that was stuck. Yes. Did you guys see that? It no. just wouldn't move. And this is classic New York shit. I'm on a phone call, and I'm like, "Oh, come on!" All right. Literally, there's maybe a person dying in there, and I'm like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but. It wouldn't move. And yeah. it was, I shit you not, like seven minutes on one block. Wow. Which for an ambulance is fucking that's bad. But that's New York. It's that. Congested. It shouldn't so have gone congested. up a, a busy block in Times Square. Right. True. Yeah, they, they literally, whoever they was picking up, to, should have told them to meet them at the, in, the, other, the end of the <laughs> yeah. street. Take your so he wouldn't board. block the fucking whole street. <laughs> right. So, so I, where, where, where do you live? I live in Atlanta. Oh, you're still there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Well, I was in Indiana for 15 years. I just moved back last year. That's an upgrade, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like Indiana at mm-hmm. all. I like Atlanta. Atlanta's I love cool. Atlanta. And LA is just too fake. Everybody vegan. Everybody want to take you out at dinner. They chew, and then they go to the bathroom and spit the food out. Right. Um, They're just too fucking fake. I agree. They're a bunch of, there's a land of goo-goo lies. <laughs> so I don't like LA. And it costs too fucking much. Yeah, and yeah. the traffic and the smog and the homeless. You can, you can keep going. 
The homeless, you know, like in Atlanta, the homeless is positioned in certain places. In LA, they just be laying out in the street like they had the Marriott. <laughs> you like, excuse me, sir. He's like, fuck you, bitch. It's my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to pal that park as a whole human being. Right. In that parking spot, because that's where they're going to sleep tonight. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with it? How do you get control of this homeless problem? I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's the weather. It's well, the drugs have made yes. it so much worse. No, it's you the know? weather is so good. It's easy to sleep outside when it's always 80 degrees. Yeah, if I was homeless here, I would just start walking. Just well, get me to L.A. This, until the last week, this winter hasn't been that bad here. Yeah, it kicked up. It kicked up. The wind. The wind, the, the snow. Wind. It's, it snowed yesterday. Yeah. There wasn't no snow. That was this white shit falling out of there. That was cocaine. <laughs> That's why I none, do of tongue. That shit, none of that shit. None of that shit. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> tongue. Uh. Yeah. So I, I like the South. I really like the South. Atlanta's like the cool. South too. Yeah. Born about, and raised. Yeah, I'll be there soon. I like. I like going. Where you there. coming to? Tabernacle. Okay. Should be fun. I've done. I've made done the clubs for years there. Uh, Laughing Skull and is that still there? Mm-hmm. Punchline. Yeah. Punch in the di- back of the diner. Yep. See mm-hmm. the Jello while you're doing your stand up. Oh, love that. that's fun. Classic. No, I played that room for years. Uh, what do you think about Buckhead? Why you had to say it like that? Well, I'm doing a gig there. I want to get your take. What well, Buckhead is really nice. Why are you doing it at Buckhead Theater? Really fucking nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Really All right. Nice. I saw Bill Cosby. St. Regis there. It's not what it used to be. It used to be Party Central. Oh, now, really? Yeah. It's like real cleaned up and yeah, it's bougie. Why, now. why are you here? <laughs> why uh, you I haven't been in Atlanta in a long time. I moved here from Salt Lake City, but I, I grew up in Atlanta until uh, I was like I moved when I was fifteen. Oh, too gay. <laughs> what, gay? In Salt Lake? Yeah. Or in, no, Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta's pretty gay. Is it now? You oh, gay? yeah. No. What? What's wrong with I you? Thought you really? I thought you were gay. <laughs> no. Ah, well, fire this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's right. gay for the right price, Mark. You got that right. Yeah. What's in it for me? <laughs> I'll give you a little buckhead. <laughs> <laughs> Mark actually pays him a dollar. He's like, oh, this is the actual buckhead. This, <laughs> this stinks. Yeah, buckhead is really nice. You're going to yeah. like that theater. It's beautiful. All right. Thank you. I'm excited. Uh, What's your favorite barbecue spot in Atlanta? Uh oh! I just got back last year. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had any fucking barbecue. How about just like good food in Atlanta? I go to this place called uh, where we go. Uh, bar- breakfast is Barney's. Mm. It's okay. right over there by Grady Hospital. Remember Grady Hospital? Well, they don't gentrify all of that shit. They don't ran my people out, and the good old white people don't came in there to plant flowers. <laughs> and they thought my people couldn't plant flowers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know they it's it's. It don't even look the same like when I grew up. Mm. So it's really nice restaurant popping up every fucking where. The night scenery. Because it's something to do there every damn night. Right. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. I'll go to Barney's. So if you go, call me and then I get you in because it's hard to get in. Oh, really? The line is down the fucking street. All right. Really? I'm excited. Yes. I can throw the your name around. The street. Don't walk in there and say my name. Just oh, okay. Call me and I tell them you coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't walk in there and say Miss Pat. You probably get your ass with. <laughs> <laughs> These little hookers gonna hit me. I don't know if it's still there. You gotta go check out Fat Matt's. You remember that place? I think it was called Fat Matt's Ribs. Mm. Is it still there? Is it? She I, said it's still there. I think the first the first time I came to New York. I mean, this is like five six years ago. Well, it's not the first time, but I remember I went to go see uh, Aladdin on Broadway. And the lights came up at uh, the intermission, and sitting like two seats over from me was Andre Benjamin, and he was Ooh. wearing he was wearing a Fat Matt's barbecue T-shirt. Wow! Like, I mean, he, like he was the mo- yeah the most dressed down, like oh, no, he's n- dressed down. yeah like but compared to the you know the green suit and the split you know like the long yeah. hair he was just just in the barbecue T-shirt and so, said like I was the only person who recognized him too. Underrated handsome guy. Andre. And kind of an underrated actor. He's actually a pretty good Great actor. Great actor, too. yeah. I mean, he's a fucking I mean obviously actor. Outcast is amazing, but I mean, look at that. He's a hunk. He just I think he just said, Hey, I made my money. I don't have time for the bullshit. I wanna walk away. Wow, is he done with showbiz, you think? I don't know. Hmm, I haven't he, seen we him hoping one day for another album. I know, Outcast was killer. They yeah. got back together for Coachella a couple years ago. Oh Big Boy stole. He's, he's always around. I, I ran yeah. into him uh, at the airport not long ago. Oh yeah. Did you say what's up? Yeah, he did. I didn't recognize him. Uh, my assistant recognized him. Mm. He had a, grown a beard and mustache, and I, I didn't recognize him. Yeah. What? When you're on the road, you, do you do the road pretty hard? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. What do you have any things you do like you're like you got to go to a good restaurant? Is there like a routine you have? No, not really. I don't get out into the city. I go to my fucking hotel, go to sleep, perform, and go back to sleep. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I do a morning show in Atlanta, and then uh, you know I'm always working on something trying to develop or whatever during the week and i'm building a house so i don't have time for anything yeah it's a big house i heard it is is. oh that's exciting i heard i heard from pam yeah i uh i decided to be my own general contractor and i built a seventeen thousand square foot house wow that's huge yeah no wonder you like atlanta you're living good yeah you could too if you come on in there with me i'll i'm down yeah. You're leaving New York for Atlanta? Wow, well, if I can check up with old Patty. Oh. <laughs> I'm down. I miss the South. Uh, no, stay your ass up here because you're not shaking up with no old Patty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I just mean old O L E. So fucking stupid. <laughs> we can share stories. I lost Virginia to a hooker. Well, I'm not a fucking hooker. I'm just saying, we am related to Cecil. I mean, Damn, I, we both have experience. I'm not selling you Mark, no Mark's just pussy. digging himself no. a bigger hole here. I'm not saying you're a hooker. This. Obviously, you're an established you? uh, lady. I fuck prostitutes before. I'm not a fucking... Oh, no, but you, you, you dabbled with the ladies, so I was just yeah. trying to relate. You're not doing a good job. All right, all right. All right. Well, this is a horrible speed date. <laughs> But <laughs> love Atlanta, hot Atlanta. They call. I it. do like Atlanta. I'm excited to go. I'm excited to be there again. Great comedy Street town. Time. Underrated audiences. Yeah. Great crowds. How big is the theater y'all doing? I don't know. It's mine's not big. that big. I think it's mine's pretty, like nine hundred. Nine hundred. It's not pretty huge. big. I think. I don't know. Yeah, Tabernacle's definitely big. Yeah, I'm only doing a show there, but it'll be fun. I'm I'm pumped. I think Bill Bird did the. Did the black and white special there? Oh wow! Yeah, Buckhead okay, Theater holds eighteen hundred. Holy shit! Let's go. Let's. You doing eighteen hundred? I'm excited. Well, that's Let's go. I bet the fuck you is excited. Oh, Mark, you'd fucking do it easily. What are you talking about? Eight, I didn't know it was eighteen. Yeah, you could stop it. Oh boy! If I could do it, you could do it. All right. Well, pull out my old fat Matt shirt. <laughs> well, what's what's the tabernacle? Oh. Pull that puppy up. At, Atlanta. It's both of them really nice. Oh, right. I thought you said Tabernacle was eighteen hundred. Pat Oswalt, Pat Oswalt did his. Uh, oh, okay. I think he did the. His shit club. is eighteen hundred. That's I think, too no, much. No, I think mine is close well, to that too. There's several rooms inside of the uh, oh, okay. theater too. Maybe I'm doing the small one. I'm sorry. It says twenty six hundred, but that can't be true. I either. think it's eighteen. Wow. It says twenty six hundred. I think right it's here. pretty big. That might be for music though, with like I standing right. room yeah. and shit. Uh, I think true. I think for stand up, it's tw- it's eighteen. I'm wow. Nineteen eleven. How about that? Isn't that cool? That's the cool thing about theaters is they're, they're like Houdini play yes. here. It's like it's the most I just, random. I'm just I just started a, um I started in September. I have a uh, my first theater tour called Your Girl Done Made It. Yeah, and I'm moving into theater, but I really like clubs. Mm. Clubs are fun. You need both, I think. You got to yeah. mix clubs, clubs to build and and the theaters to hone. You know, right. <laughs> Is that what it is? I think. I mean, what do I know? I mean, it's it's. I agree. I think it's good to. Theaters are cool. It's cool to do them, but I think. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about moving into theaters, but it's also because you know clubs are so personal, right? And in theaters, just out there, and you know, in a, in a club, it's easy to control 400. Yeah. But now you got to control 1800. But so no check spot, no chicken wings, no heckle. It's it's a little more. Uh, they're happy to be there. It's yeah. A, it's, it's a it's. Chris Rock said this once. He goes. It's velvet seats. Oh, he, he's got something about velvet seats. They behave better. It's <laughs> true. Like, All right. That's a bigger ticket price. Yeah, it's more expensive. They really have to want to be there as opposed to clubs. Sometimes those clubs have like a mailing list. You know, no. they're, they're, they know who you are, but they they're not as invested, I think, in the clubs. But I, I'm with you. I love clubs, too. I, I did clubs for so long. I love I mean, I, I you learn to love it. I mean, it's right. part of. You know, you're gonna slip in a theater like a dirty foot in a sheet. You're gonna love it. <laughs> you're gonna slip right in, like a toenailless hoof in the oh bed. My God. <laughs> what is? <it? laughs> Just calling back. <laughs> all right, all right. What is that, Fat Mats? You say I gotta check Jeez. that out. <laughs> Jeez, I, I thought Cecil got fucked. This yeah. is. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think you're gonna like when you start doing them. You're gonna you're gonna love it. I'm, I agree with Mark. I think you're really gonna. 
I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I got about 13, 14 days so far. Woo! So I'm excited. That is exciting. Yeah. It's a jump. The big house, the theaters. You're killing gonna, it. You're going to like it. You yeah. got you to gotta sell a, a liquor. Have you thought about that? No. Amaretto. Ooh. Miss Pats. I do like Amarello. Miss and I'm ready to go because he looking cute to me. Hey, <laughs> all right, I turned you around. Have you been with the uh, the never, whitey? Never been with a whitey. Oh, I'm a really? good transition. No, you're not. You won't even feel me. <laughs> I'm quite sure I won't. <laughs> you'll feel me because I'm going to have to probably be on top. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. All right, bring it on. <laughs> you're smashing the shit out of you. You wake up and you're going to be dead and you don't want white people to die. You leave them out too long. You turn into black people. So <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Dolezal. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Die right. black. <laughs> well, I'll suck those nailless toes all day. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, all right. So you got some clubs coming up, it looks like. When does this come out, Matt? Um, these are, I'm in Kansas City. Um, well, when did this come out? April what? what? Okay. That's a good room. Classic. Great. I also have a podcast going on that week. So oh, oh, make sure y'all get the tickets to that. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah. April 28th and 20th in Tacoma, Washington. Mm. Good room. Yeah, yeah, I like say that new club. date. Then, Those are theaters. Yeah. That's oh. it. Don't walk around too much in that downtown area in Tacoma. A little that's, messy. Uh, a little messy. Methy. Little yeah. Methy. Oh, when I was there, when I was there with uh, Gary Veter, we were in the hotel and the power. We were in the nice hotel in the area, but the power kept going uh, out. So it's like, we would just be in the room. I'd be like, dude, is your power? I'd be like, the power's out. Then we get in the elevator for the for the building, and it's broken. They're like, oh, be careful in the elevator. It's broken. Nah. Like, what is be careful? It's yeah, right. We're on the 23rd floor. What do you mean, be careful? <laughs> so we get in, and it's stuck, and Gary's trying to get us out. And some guys are drunk. They're like, it's fine. It's fine. Gary pushed a guy out of the way wow. to get us out. And I was like, and then they got stuck. So we got, we got fucking lucky. Yeah. But uh, good, it is a good club, though, Tacoma. Yeah, I like to come. Also, of... I wanted to mention about Pat that uh, her theater tour starts in September. Okay. Right? Get those tickets now. And it starts in Louisville on September 8th and on the 9th in Indianapolis. Ooh, going back to the and home. It went on sale this week. This week. It sure did. Hell go, yeah. Go to MissPatComedy.com for all the dates and, and you know I mean? get your tickets. I love so it. We can hang out. Now we're talking. And suck toenail. Yeah. Toe toe <laughs> the suck my toes tour. That's pretty good. This girl and, done made it. And uh, Sammy, you got your dates up here. For yeah, but I got, they're adding more. We got like, you know, LA, San Diego, Sacramento, and uh, SF. But we're adding a bunch of stuff. We got Columbus, Cincinnati, Indy, Kalamazoo, Perrysburg, York, Pennsylvania, Bethlehem. I'm all over Pennsylvania. Woo! Wilmington, Delaware, Baltimore, Philly. Uh, what's so, What? Why are you laughing at me? You just hear the work you're going to have to do, too? That's ah. Pam. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to tell her to get me on local TV and burn a hole. All right. Uh, Hampton Beach, Portland, Maine, Connecticut, Richmond, Virginia, Greensboro, Asheville, Charlotte, Knoxville, Memphis, uh, Birmingham. So much more coming. You know, Denver, Santa Fe, San Antonio, Houston. Let's go. Hell yeah. Samarell.com slash shows. All right, I'm coming to a, a theater near you, and... Do you want me to read those? No, and this is my website, Ladies on Fentanyl, so this is all out of whack. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, I'm coming to do a theater tour, announcing it soon, and I'm coming to Australia Whoa. this summer, June, so say hello uh, down under, and uh, marknormancomedy.com, get some Bodega Cat. Check out, what was your podcast? My podcast is called The Pat Down. The and Pat make, Down. Make sure y'all st go and watch season three of The Miss Pat Show, because it's oh, of out course. now. Oh, Good call. Awesome. And if you, you if you never heard of The Miss Pat Show, because I've never done this podcast and it might be a new audience, start at season one and I'm going to start watching it. I'm three. pumped. I'm pumped to see it. It's this. really good. Yeah. It's really good. Emmy nominated, folks. I'm going to yeah. give it a plug real quick. Uh, as always, I'm at Joey Rose's Tuesdays oh, and Thursdays. Yeah. Come down and see me at the bar. There you go. Uh, You're a bartender for real? I am, yeah. It's down at Joe DeRose's place on 174 Rivington Street. Sing it, sister. And, uh, sister. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> Y'all better start listening to him. He always talking mad bullshit. 
<laughs> you, you didn't hear that. You better start listening. I mean, something We're ending with this him. on you ain't shit. <laughs> You're the only person who listens to me. <laughs> All right. The pat down. The pat well, down with Miss Pat. That's yeah. right. That's the name of Rudy Giuliani's uh, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I barely got that out. But yeah. Uh, he was. He, it should have been a pat down. Stop and frisk. You yeah. Got it. All right. I, I thought you were going right. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the groping. I don't oh, know. that too. Doesn't that matter. Too. All right. Look. Great episode. So nice to have you on the show. Thank y'all really for Really appreciate it. Killed it. And uh, all you guys, Matt, Peter, Salamanca, everybody, Pat, we're rocking. Erica. Whoop that baby ass. This kid. You beat this kid up? Fuck yeah, I beat the dog too. You see that dog? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great episode. Damn. Thanks for listening. Thank we might you. be drunk. Keep drinking. Sunday's a day for my next.